Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be teaching you about what rackets are made of and how to spot rackets that are aluminum versus a graphite overlay on an aluminum and graphite rackets. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so um, on some of the tours that you've been with me at, like at Dick Sports, at the Goodwill, um, I've kind of pointed out certain aspects of tennis rackets. I'm actually just going to show you today how to spot various types of rackets, okay? So let's actually start there. Let's start with an aluminum racket. So when you're looking at a racket, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes because the paint uh, makes most rackets look really, really good these days. So they can hide the, uh, um, the fact that it's an aluminum racket really well now. And the paint actually can, you know, even when you go like that, it sounds kind of not aluminum-esque. But the first thing we're looking at, though, the dead giveaway right here is the shaft. When you see this bar that's kind of not one piece connected to the racket, right? This is basically holding the aluminum together so that it doesn't cave in on the sides. So it's keeping it spread right here. So it keeps this racket shape. Now... If this racket got trauma though, if it got trauma, like let's say you fell on it or you used it as a cane and you, you know, push down on it on the ground, you will see that this racket will warp. It will not maintain this shape. It will not crack though, but it will like go like wobbly. Like it won't be a perfect racket shape anymore. Be and that's because it's made out of aluminum. Okay. Now, the characteristics of aluminum rackets, aside from this throat area, is that, you know, sometimes they're actually super light. Like this probably weighs nothing. It, it weighs like nine ounces. And um, when you touch it here, usually the sides are bulging out. Like those grommets are bulging out. And sometimes there's actually a screw in here just because they have to screw this into this to hold it together. I know in older aluminum frames they do that. And sometimes I I see it today, but this is probably you know glued on with epoxy. And that's usually the cheapest rackets. You can get these for $19.99, you know, $24.99. The most usually about 30 bucks. Okay, and that's aluminum that's strong, ready to go. The second type of racket is an aluminum racket with an a graphite overlay. So it's an aluminum racket with probably a better um, throat piece here. It may be a one piece here. So they, they do a little better job at um, holding it together. This is actually graphite, guys. This is woven graphite. And this is a thin piece of graphite that they they take and they literally just wrap they wrap it in this area right here like up here and it's wrapped just like that with a thin piece and then it's heated with uh in a kiln and it basically fuses on to the to the aluminum sometimes they'll put a graphite piece through here too right through this area here and then to make it stronger rackets with a graphite overlay usually go for about 35 40 dollars uh, because most of the racket is still aluminum now speaking of wood this artango racket which is the 960 incorporates balsa wood in the actual frame so the framing of the racket is actually supposedly wood, right? 
and they basically take graphite and cover the whole thing. And then they use epoxy, which is a resin, to harden it and stiffen it into the frame, therefore stiffening the whole racket. So wood still used today, guys, still used today. Now, there are various versions of graphite rackets out there now, um, some as low as like 50 bucks. That Costco racket, I believe, is a full graphite racket. I believe. I couldn't find where it said that it wasn't. But um, there are different ways to make a graphite racket and various ways that they braid that graphite. So depending upon um, the method of use will depend on how much they charge you. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all marketing, guys. It's all graphites, colors, shapes, and sizes. But they do come in various thicknesses, various layers. Uh, but this is the stuff that makes the racket stiff, makes it light, makes it have feel, right? This makes it possible for this racket to be hollow, yet be powerful. So, but graphite rackets, as you guys know, you know, can be upwards of, you know, $300 or as low as, you know, let's say $40, $45, depending on who's make it, how old the technology is, and, um, you know, whose name is on it. Because, you know, they're all good. It just depends if they're good for you. Okay? So... We got aluminum, we got graphite overlay, over aluminum. We even have wood these days. Very, very sparse though. This, I think our is the only one that uses this on a racket. And then various, various types of graphite uh, mixed with epoxies and the hardeners that will determine how a racket uh, is made and how a racket feels okay so look out for the little the little trademarks um of an aluminum racket the price is usually the dead giveaway if it's like 40 bucks or less it's probably an aluminum racket or a graphite overlay racket all right thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis